Hello Amazon.com, it's me Bo Chavis, who coming to you today with a pop-up tent from Dimples XL. It's probably the funniest name for a company that I've ever heard of, but I'm not here to make fun of their brand. I'm here to see whether or not this pop-up tent actually works. Now, I brought something similar to Guatemala and my wife used it to protect herself from tarantulas crawling around, which is adorable by the way. And this, it will in fact fit. So this is it down all the way. And this is my checked bag. It's, uh, it's not the largest of checked bags, but you're gonna probably gonna have to pack this thing in before other things, and then pack things around it. And then it will eventually zip, but just keep in mind that this is pretty much a standard size duffel bag, and you're probably gonna want to get a bigger type duffel bag in order to fit this kind of tent. Now, what I'm gonna show you is how to fold this thing, and uh, by the way, this does come with its own little carrying case. The other leading brand, it's called Sans Bug on Amazon, that actually compacts down smaller. However, I would caution you that there's a lot of strain on the poles and it can explode on you. I would not suggest um, actually you know, smashing it down smaller than this. I'm gonna show you how to fold this down into thirds, not fourths, but thirds. This is very, very easy. And so first of all, we're gonna open it up like so. Use caution when opening it. Obviously you don't wanna get a, you know, smash this in your face. So here it is, there is the bottom, and you're holding it like so. Watch very carefully. Holding it, okay? And now we're going to fold it in almost like an accordion. So gather in the sides, and we're gonna do that like so. Now, if you put too much pressure on it, you're probably just not folding it correctly. It should be relatively effortless. And so now you're gonna flip it like so, all right? This way, gather like so. All right, so th there's the bottom still, there's the bottom. And then you're going to gather the bottom portion. So it sort of looks like this, right, like so. The bottom is actually going to keep folding in on itself. So in we go there, and then down it goes. And then once you get to this strange position like so, that means that the walls can fold in on each other. So just keep folding in, keep folding in, keep folding in, and twist so give it a try before you head out just to make sure that um, you are comfortable with folding it up um, but once it is folded up there's not a lot of tension on there it will fit in a larger duffel bag do note that you can't really do the four fold with this thing because it is absolutely paramount that you identify where the joint is because this this um this that goes around the whole thing, the, the tent poles, they are joined at some point with a, uh, a junction. And um, if you put too much strain on that junction, it will explode. And on this, you can't tell where the junction is because it's fully, fully contained. Now, if this company, uh, Dimples XL, put a little mark on there that said, don't fold and twist at this point, you know, basically have it on the outside, then, uh, well, maybe then in fact you can fold this smaller. But right now, odds are it will fit in your large duffel bag. But uh, that is it. Hopefully that this small little demonstration works for you. I would recommend this simply because, well, it's cheaper than the Sands Bug. At least last I checked. The Amazon link is below. You can go do your own exploring. Look at that other reviews and things like that. Now, I am leaving tomorrow morning for Sierra Leone, West Africa. We produce film for other nonprofits. We are a nonprofit ourselves, a ministry, serving other ministries. Best job in the world. But anyway, off I go with this thing. By the way, one last little pickle is that yes, it does come with a stretchy band that goes around like so, and it can actually clip in. The Sands Bug does not have, well, it does have a stretchy band, but there's no actual buckle. So I kind of like the buckle because then you can actually adjust it like so and really tighten it down. That's it, my name's Bo Chevisu. I'm out of here.